based on the 2012 namesake novel by Bethan Roberts, a true story, My Policeman is a period romantic drama film. The film begins in the present day. Marion, much older, welcomes Patrick into her and Tom's home. The audience can tell right away that this gesture has a backstory, especially because Tom appears to believe it victimizes him. He expressly states that he does not want Patrick to live under his roof. With such a build-up, it's almost as if the film wants us to misinterpret the plot as a story about hetero-infidelity between the wife and the friend. If that is the case, the title, as well as all of the marketing, does not serve the purpose. The character's older selves are introduced, and we get to spend some time with them before being thrown into the 1950s. Tom is a muscular young cop, boyishly handsome, ambitious, and, while not necessarily an intellectual, intelligent enough to understand how the world works around him. Patrick, on the other hand, is everything a museum curator should be and is used to a high-end lifestyle. Marion knows Tom through his sister, who is also a friend of hers. Marion becomes close to Tom, who introduces her to Patrick. She is initially captivated by his demeanor. One of her friends even remarks that she has more in common with Patrick than with Tom. In the end, she chooses Tom and marries him. Her marital life, on the other hand, does not go as planned. She realizes that Tom is not unkind or even cruel, but he exudes a sense of detachedness that she finds increasingly unsettling. She also begins to notice things about Tom and Patrick's relationship that she hasn't before. To tell a complete story, the film's narrative shifts back and forth between the two timelines. So, just as Marion discovers her husband's secret in the 1950s, realizing that she has inadvertently created a tragedy in her own life, Marion in the present begins to go through Patrick's journals, discovering that Tom and Patrick began their relationship before she and Tom married. The 1950s setting is significant because it contextualizes Tom and Patrick's actions. Tom has struggled with his identity for the majority of his life. He strives for a normal and successful life and will go to any length to achieve it. At the same time, he can't deny who he is or his genuine feelings for Patrick. So, despite the fact that it fails, he decides to use his marriage to conceal his sexuality. Like policeman ending, do Tom and Patrick end up together? The relationship between Tom and Patrick isn't the focal point of my policeman, but it is significant. Sexual acts between people of the same sex were still illegal in 1950s Britain. Patrick is tried in court after the museum authorities receive reports of his activities. Marion attempts to serve as his character witness, but the prosecution demonstrates that Tom and Patrick had a relationship, rendering Marion speechless. Marion had already learned about her husband's relationship with their mutual friend, but hearing about it from the prosecutor in Patrick's case brings it all back to life for her. Patrick is convicted and sentenced to two years in prison, where he is subjected to brutal treatment by his fellow inmates. Although Tom is not imprisoned, he loses his job with the police, and he and Marion manage to get back on their feet after the incident. Despite this, Marion chooses to stay in her deeply unhappy and unsatisfying marriage with Tom. Marion finally understands her husband's relationship with Patrick in the present day, thanks to Patrick's journals. Tom is the type of man who is most at ease with conformity, even in an age when society has become much more accepting of individual choices. When Marion announces her departure, Tom immediately thinks about how lonely he will be without her, not realizing that this has been a long time coming. If society had been more accepting in the 1950s, Tom and Patrick would not have felt the need to conceal their true selves, and Marion would not have become a victim of their charade. Marion is not without responsibility. Her guilt, however, is closely related to her time's beliefs. As she grows older, she comes to accept her flaws, whereas Tom shows little remorse for what he has done to her. Only Tom and Patrick remain in the house after Marion has left. Until that point, Tom had vehemently denied that Patrick was once again a part of his life. With Marion gone, he musters the courage to reach out, only to discover that Patrick has been waiting for him to do so for years. Marion was clearly correct when she told him he wouldn't be alone who reports Patrick to the police. Patrick is arrested for indecent behavior shortly after his return from Venice, where he was with Tom. Marion acts as a character witness for him, but it's not much help. If anything, it allows the prosecutor to dissect Marion's marital life, revealing to the world Tom and Patrick's secret relationship. Years later, as Marion prepares to leave Tom, she admits that she is the one who reported Patrick to the authorities. She was enraged, heartbroken, and jealous, and she retaliated against the man she blamed for her feelings. Marion, on the other hand, later expressed regret for her actions. She was a product of her time, admittedly homophobic, but she was also a victim of the situation, which was directly caused by Tom and Patrick's actions. Marion attempted to atone for her actions by becoming a character witness for Patrick, but this only made the situation worse. Why does Marion leave Tom? Marion and Tom's marriage was never a happy one. They appear to have built a comfortable space where they can coexist over the years, but they haven't bothered to make it more than that. Both parties are dissatisfied with the sex, and the union has not produced any children. However, Tom is content with his imperfect life because it includes things he is familiar with and does not require him to take any risks. Marion, on the other hand, has become increasingly suffocated in this relationship. 
despite knowing how her marital life would turn out from the start. She didn't have the courage to leave until now. Marion's decision to bring Patrick to the house she and Tom share complicates their relationship for the first time in years. It compels all three of them to reflect on their past and realize that it is not too late to carve out their own happy place. That is precisely what Marion does. She makes a decision for herself for the first time in years. She chooses happiness and abandons Tom. Thanks for watching, and if you are new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell icon so you do not miss out on our latest videos.